guys. Hi, everybody. Happy New Year. It is uh, great to be back in the studio with Joanna. Uh, I'm never surprised that she's so great to me and she makes sure that she's an available model because it's not that easy anymore. Kids are running and hiding from us. So I want to just let everybody know uh, to visit the Facebook, the Silly Farm, Fab Events, Faba TV, and Face and Body Art International Convention Facebook, please, to find out where we're going to be next. I am going to be in uh, Virginia, the Washington, D.C. area, and Connecticut uh, in two weeks at the end of January. So I hope that I can see many of you guys and catch up and you guys can, uh, and we can wish each other a great Happy New Year. So let's get started. Um, Valentine's Day is coming up next month and it is by far my favorite holiday of all times, believe it or not. It's just such a sweet day, you get all that love, aww. So we'll do some heart inspired designs uh, on my beautiful Joanna here. So I'm going to start off by putting down a little bit of a base um, right underneath her eyes. So I'm going to use this fab metallic light purple, which is just gorgeous, as a base. And I'll be using um, some of the new arty cakes from this month, which I absolutely love as well. So I'm going to take a damp sponge, rub it over the surface. Remember, you want to pick up about halfway here and halfway there um, on your... Uh, sponge so that you know that it's loaded properly. So what I'm going to do is especially this is good for those of you that uh, paint kids that have bangs because look it takes away from a lot of what you can do. So close your eyes for me. So I'll start here at the corner of the eye and I'm just pressing right inside of there. So I'm going to go right um, underneath the eye right inside of here just like this. So you can see that I got this kind of shine heading in there. And then it was flatter here. I moved to the tip as I got closer in so that you don't have that large of an area. Um, and then I'll turn him on this side, or her on this side. And I'm going to repeat the same thing. So I'm pressing harder along this, uh, the cheekbone. And then I start just going gentler, uh, if that's a word more gentle and and thinner underneath it so now I have this kind of swooping in effect right inside of there and then I'm going to just cover in the bridge of the nose I'll go right to left and left to right just kind of filling it in right there so as you can see now I put down a little bit of the base now the next thing that I'm going to do is pick up another color that I'm going to go right underneath it with and I'm picking up a little bit of the Sparkle Princess and I'm mixing it in with a little bit of the neon pink uh, just to make it a, a little bit of a bolder color but I still want a little bit of a shine to it and you want to blot it off first before you go directly on the face because I don't want it to be like a super super intense color. So then I'm just going to turn her a little bit here. I'm going to just follow right along that line coming right over it. So notice what I'm doing, stippling it in right there. If you go too strong with one color, flip your sponge back over where the purple was and just kind of blend it out so you don't have that harsh line in between. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I start up here, follow the contour of the cheekbone, heading up. If it gets too strong, flip it back over. I'm just picking up three of the colors just like this back and forth. I am trying to pick up a little bit of that uh, plum color that's on the end uh, because then it's going to have, and it's harder to see right here, but it's going to have this uh, darker edge on it for me. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off in the middle of the forehead right here by making a loop and another loop in the opposite direction for the heart fill it in right inside of there. So I go right inside of there again, make a smaller loop and a smaller loop right inside of there just to give it a little bit of depth and then I'm going to go in one more time working on the edge of my brush and I know it's really hard to see how deep it is um, but when you're up close it, it's kind of a cool effect. So then I'm going to follow and trace these same sections down here, this same kind of outline that I put right there. And I'm going to trace it using uh, my arty cakes. So with the darkest color on the bottom, I'm going to just hold my brush flat, come around, and kind of give it a curl on the end. 
and I'll do the same thing. Make sure that your darkest color is, is on the edge. Follow flat. Kind of give it that curl on the end. Now the good thing is because this cupcake arty cake had a soft metallic purple on the inside, it gave it an automatic blend for me. So that helps more than anything else. I'm going to repeat this at the top of her forehead here. So all I'm going to do is come straight and curve it in just like that and I'll repeat that on the other side right inside of here straight curve it in just like that so now I have the beginning of the design and I apologize if they're not completely even on both sides but don't worry we'll, we'll work it out all I'm going to do is I'm going to start off right inside of here with my brush very straight and I'm gonna make a series of loops And thin it out right inside of there and I'll do the same thing on this side so I'm just going to go small loop small loop and thin it out right inside of there and if you have to go over it don't worry about going over it that's what you'll want to do okay so now I have this empty space and this empty space and it's good because I'm actually going to break out one of my favorite things the BAM stencils and these have hearts in them so I feel like this would make a good finishing look for this design before we go any further I'm going to take my up uh, my BAM stencil and this one is number 1035 and I'm going to load it with my metallic white now you don't want your sponge to be super wet and you don't want it to be super dry because then it's not going to transfer anyway so then it's going to be pointless. So I just loaded it up and I'm going to test it on the wrist of my hand to make sure that it's not overwhelmingly wet because if it's too wet and you put it on top of it it's not going to work. So then I'm going to just lay my stencil here and I'm going to just blot it over it all the way down this cheek area. I lift it up so you'll be able to see that beautiful texture that it gave it. And I'm going to repeat on this side. And you look what I almost did. I almost laid the wet side down. It's important to know which side you're using. Sometimes that can be a little bit tricky, especially if you're using white because this is a white stencil. So just make sure that you're paying attention. So the same thing I did on one side, I'm going to do on the other side. Just use a little bit of metallic white and I use metallic white versus regular white. Why? Because I don't want it to, uh, to overpower the design. Black and white tend to do that. So I'm just going right on the bridge of the nose, right over the darkest area so that it actually will stand out and make it pop. Okay, so I'm just loading my brush uh, with a little bit of wolf white to, so that I can go in and make some of the jewelry and the pearls. So. You're so beautiful. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to outline my heart up here. Just like that. So I added a little bit of a white outline right inside of there. And now I'm going to just frame it using dots of different sizes. So I'll follow this directly around, pressing when I want thicker dots, and then releasing and not pressing as hard when I want thinner ones. So we're going all the way around. And then I'm going to go in from the top of the nose with my teardrops. They get shorter as they come in. right inside of there so now you see the beginning of this and now we're just gonna follow this same idea all around okay so then all I'm going to do is just make sure that my dots are pretty close I press lift press lift I'm following them all around the edge just like that so you can see how I did that and from here make my swirls bring it in just to create a finished effect right on side of there and you see how I left a second space that's so that I can make a second curl right inside of there a double curl all right so now what I did is I made this flowing in because I want everything to flow nicely across the face so what I do on the bottom I'm going to repeat on the top balance it out top of there make a double curl 
and then I'm going to follow this around just finish it off with my dots I'll do the same on that side watch this straight swirl come over it and swirl and then I made these two little teardrops there with my arty cake so I'm just going to bring in some teardrops from the top right on top of it so it gives it a nice background effect all right so now I have that let's just follow this same one mirror it over okay how am I gonna do that I'm gonna start off here by making my dots press lift press lift you want to get them nice and variated you want them to be thin and thick you don't want them to be all the same size because then they look like chicken pox one curl come and double curl just kind of finishes up for me so all i'm going to do regular lips regular lips no no, no regular lips i'm going to slap you <laughs> okay perfect i need to see that actual shape of your lips all right, now look at how this came together. Okay, so now, ooh, pretty mama. So now, of course, just finishing touches like glitter. And remember, with glitter, you don't want to overdo it, guys. You want to make sure that when you're using glitter, um, I'm using a white fairy dust, I'm using my fingers, and I'm just gently tapping it on there. Uh, you don't want to overdo it with glitter. I'm going to tell you why. Glitter can cover up your design and just make it lose itself sometimes. And I'd rather avoid doing that. I'd rather just use glitter as this nice little punch of color or a li nice little accent that, uh, that makes it just come alive. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial today. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you have a great year. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe to Fava TV. I promise you there's so much unlimited learning on there that you'll just be blown away. Have a great day. Stay right there.